Dickens, and welcome to my shop. Well, actually, I'm not in the shop, I'm in my living room, but this is where this project begins. You can see over here in the corner, we had one of these little cheap racks, and it's filled up with DVDs. We got them stacked on top, and they're piled on top of that. So it's time for something new, and I want to make us a DVD rack. And uh, a few years ago, my son wanted a rack for his room to put his DVDs in. We made him one, and I'm going to use that design that we come up with and then enhance it a little bit more. So let's go take a look at his. Okay, here's the one we made Tyler a while back and made out of pine from Home Depot, bought six inch wide boards, which come five and a half, we all know that, and that fits the DVD perfect. But I've noticed that some of them stick out a little bit farther because they have that extra little thing on the case, and which aggravating. But I bought some oak, I'm gonna do the same thing, there's seven shelves tall, but mine in the living room, I want to cover up all that, so I'm putting some uh, raised panel doors on it. But he's got this thing full, and it holds about 30 per shelf and seven shelves high, so a lot of DVDs. Okay, now we're down in the shop. What I have here is about 36 board feet of red oak, 10 foot long boards, six of them, various widths from six to eight and a half inches. Um, that's, that should cover it. I will be making the thing uh, about 65 inches tall, two foot wide, six inches deep. I'll be putting the back on it with some uh, quarter inch plywood and uh, the doors will be made out of raised panels. I have uh, uh, two 12 inch wide doors, the full height of it, and uh, there will be two panels in each door. So uh, I've got the boards chopped up. You can see, part, so I make sure I knew what board would be best for each part. Uh, next, I'm going to take all the boards for the door and just put away in the other room for the time being. And then I will uh, uh, start uh, milling the boards. I've got to run it through the planer, knock it down a little bit. They're a little bit more than three quarter. I'm going to knock it down just two, three quarter perfectly. And uh, then I'll start cutting them to size. And then, then we'll go from there. Okay. Fixing to uh, run this through the planer and get it knocked down a little bit. What I did was I set my caliper, took my three quarter inch bit on my uh, router bit that I'm going to cut the dado for the shelves, set it to that. That way I can get it just, just right so it'll fit that one that, that bit perfectly because everybody knows those bits are not perfect. But that's what I'm going to use for a gauge. Uh, you know, we don't forget our eye and ear protection. Don't forget your shop responsibility. Don't do anything stupid.
step. So far so good. I've got the uh, sides cut, uh, ripped down to six inches wide. I uh, got all the shelves cut, and they are about two foot long. And uh, the top and bottom, they are a full six inches wide, and the rest of the shelves are five and three quarter. And then the top and bottom, I will uh, hit on my router table a little bit and put a groove in to receive the, the back. Same thing with the sides. Uh, but the, uh, the middle shelves will uh, just be set in a quarter inch, you know, so the back will set on. So next, uh, take these shelves out of the way. I'll take the two sides and get my router and, and route grooves in. I'll do both at the same time so that I know they're straight. And, uh, and put the dados in for the shelves. Well, I'm starting to clamp these two boards together by on the edge so I could route the dados, and I realized that my edges weren't straight. You know, what can you expect from a $100 uh, table saw? You know, sad when you got to spend more on hand planes than a table saw. But, um, I've already done one edge here, and that seems to do the trick, so we'll start off, the, the middles are a little high. So I'm going to start off with this, uh, this old vintage uh, number five Stanley. You know, Chris Schwartz tells us we need one of these. Found one, found this on eBay for 20 bucks. It's all rusted up, cleaned it up, sharpened it, honed it. Works like a, this is the first time I've actually got to use it other than a little test work, but works like a dream. up there. number seven, nice and long, so I can get a, uh, a true reading here. four and a half smoothing plane. Get down on the sanding on the sides too. Dado cut across the top where the top will go across, and I marked it down uh, to the first shelf here. And I put a, uh, a brace across it. That's going to be my guide for the router. Got my plunge router set. Uh, I've got it all clamped together and down tight so it won't move. And uh, when I was doing this, my my little shop back is absolutely crammed full, and I don't have another bag, so I'm just going to have to make a mess this time.
Well, got the uh, dados for the shelves routed out and did them at the same time so they're all, they all match up even. And so far so good. I'm happy with it. Uh, next I'm going to set up the router table and on the back side of, of both sides uh, I will got a quarter inch groove to hold the, uh, the back and also on the top and bottom uh, boards for the shelves. Well, I just got through routing the uh, quarter inch groove on the back side of the sides and the top and bottom shelf to hold the back. And once I got it all set up and did a little test run, I just kept going and forgot to turn the camera on. So I apologize for that. So what I've done now, I've got the uh, about an inch or so in from each end in the dados, and I've got the center mark. And I'm going to drill a uh, pilot hole for it right now. And then when I finish with that, I'll come back from the other side put the countersink in because I like those screws and plug them. I, I just like that. I think it looks neat. It's like you got dowels in there. And that's what I like to do. So that's what I'm fixing to do right now. This shelf here, I had one boo boo so far, and I wanted to stop the the, uh, the groove back in the back with this dado here. And the first pass through the router, I did fine, so, but I kept, went through to pass it through one more time, clean it up a little bit, and I hit started at the end, which I shouldn't have. So I, I got a little corner blow that, but it's at the bottom in the back, it'll never be seen. I'll probably still clean that up, probably put a little piece in there, and you'll never know it. So. You gotta have a mistake every now and then, or it's not a good project. Now for countersinks. Uh, when I get this thing together, I'll take some of the scrap pieces and drill out the plugs with a plug cutter, fill them in, and line them up. Most of the time, you never know they're there. 